can see here we are using MATLAB as our simulation. Uh, okay, before we uh, proceed the simulation, uh, we need to understand the manual calculation and what the question is needed. Okay, uh, for question 2A, we need to uh, calculate the uh, W naught, T naught, A N, B N, and A naught. So uh, after we do the calculation, we need to transfer the result into the octave script. So uh, I'm using the MATLAB. Uh, for the simulation, uh, for the line space, this is the line space. So uh, what what it means by line space is uh, generate a linear space vector. It's, uh, it is similar to the colon operator but give direct control over the number of points. Okay, after that, uh, we need to declare the dec declaring of a note B, a, B and A N. It is really important because uh, if we don't declare the variable, uh, we cannot proceed the and define the equation. So, uh, I'll just write the equation here. Uh, so, uh, it's really uh, to make it easy for MATLAB to... Uh, to uh, read the uh, read the equation. So the uh, the frequency that we pick is twenty five k. Okay, hence the question is needed when the harmonic is state from five, ten, and twenty. Okay. Uh, for question number C, uh, after we declaring the uh, variable the a node a and b n. Uh, so uh, we need to plot the signal in time domain. So which is uh, given a three state. Uh, 5, 10, and uh, 20. Okay, uh, I, I show the example here. Uh, if the time domain uh, is uh, 20 harmonic, so the we run the section, so the output will be like this. Okay, this is a 20 harmonic. Okay, uh, if I want to make it uh, 10 harmonic, I just here is uh, the 20 uh, harmony. So I run the program. I run the section. So okay, uh, this is uh, the har 10 harmonic. Okay, uh, after that, so this is the uh, uh, the 5 harmonic uh, output. Uh, the difference between uh, these three is uh, simple. Uh, the uh, for 5 and uh, for 5 and 10 harmonic, uh, the amplitude uh, become more range uh, because uh, this uh, time domain, uh, which is t, uh, which is x, then is uh, between, between this t is the harmonic. So if we put the range, uh, uh, become, uh, we put the range uh, bigger and bigger, so the time will be uh we got a, a range here between tau and two tau here okay uh for question number d is compare the signal uh both in time domain and frequency, frequency domain okay um this is the code for d so uh, from the uh, from the equation uh, from the output i, I got uh for, uh, this for output for frequency uh, and then I compare it uh, so this is a uh, time domain and frequency domain okay this is uh, when uh, the harmonic is 10 and this is the harmonic uh, between uh, time domain and frequency uh, in n uh, 20 for question number 3 for question number three, it wants us to create a low pass filter. So to create a low pass filter, first thing first, we need to make sure that we have a package signal in our octave. So to do so, we can use this command here, package log signal. And you have to wait for a few seconds. If there is no error occurring, you can proceed to your question. But if there is error, do not worry. You can go to the octave website and download the signal package. Okay, moving on to question number three. So 
first thing first, we need to declare our frequency sampling. So our frequency sampling here, I've placed 800k. So this can be any value that we want. Next is we need to declare our FC, which means our cutoff frequency. That is 80k, 80 kilohertz. The reason why it is 80 kilohertz is because how you calculate is by using the range of frequency, input frequency that was given in the question. So we chose 20k and then you multiply it by 4, you will obtain 80k. Alright, next is the normal frequency. So normalized frequency here is, the, co the command here is W is equals to FC slash in brackets FC slash 2 close bracket and semicolons. Enter. Okay, now, after declaring all the sampling frequency, cutoff frequency, and also the normalized frequency, we're going to create our low-pass filter. So this is the command. Next is the, this one. H, W equals to FRQZ, open bracket, B, A, slap, comma, 1000, close brackets, and semicolons. Going to plot it. Here you go. And press enter. Next is question number four. So question number four wants us to use the signal in pass two and pass it through a low pass filter that we have built in pass three. And then the question wants us to analyze the output of the filter both in time domain and frequency domain. So to do so, we are going to use this command here. So for this part, it is for our input signal. Okay, so you can see this is to define signal function, which is here, and this is our input signal. Next, this command here that is interesting that we have to take that we have to take notice. X underscore max equals to abs open bracket fft open bracket x slash length open bracket x close bracket dot star two close bracket close bracket semicolons. Okay, before I go to this command, I just want to inform that for octave, we need to use dot star to refer as multiplication. Moving on, my x max, this command up here. So, as you can see in my comments, it says length of FFT. So, length of FFT means the length of the signal in frequency domain. So, we can see here, we have the input signal, right? So we are going to change, this command here is going to change the input signal into a frequency domain. So from signal domain, it goes to frequency domain using this command here. Okay, after you're done with that, we can now move on to this one. If you remember from task 3, these are the commands that we use to build our low pass filter. So basically, x underscore filter equals to filter open brackets b comma a comma a comma a comma x close bracket, semicolon is the filter from question number three, right? So once you're done with that, now we have, if you notice, we have these two plotting graph plot commands, okay? You know it's a graph command when you see the word plot or you see axis, x level, and the y level, okay? So for this one, this is the graph for frequency domain. So once you press enter after the semicolon, we will obtain this graph here. So this is our frequency domain, which answers our question here to analyze the output in frequency domain. And then we will next we will need to plot the graph in terms of time domain. Okay, once you press semicolon here, you will achieve this um, graph here. So this is your this is our graph that we obtain for time domain for this task. So I'm just gonna bring out for the frequency domain. 